leading off again, Rob Bosley. Well, connection's a big theme for this program as a leader on this team with so many new faces. What's been the process of trying to get everybody on the same page over the course of this offseason so you can kind of hit the ground running Wednesday? Yeah, well, like you said, a lot of new faces, a lot of new guys at the program. Uh, and we just wanted to have a good offseason, uh, you know, work hard together, see each other work, um, do a lot of tough things in the offseason. Um, and, you know, that's when you, I guess, connect the most is in the offseason right before the season. And then, um, you know, up here in the summer, um, being around each other all the time, and then, uh, you know, going through fall camp. It's important for us to have a good fall camp, uh, to be around each other and to continue to make that connection that we have um, already built and then, you know, make some more with others. A lot of new faces here that just got here from, um, you know, in the summer, uh, you know, new freshmen. And uh, we're excited to have those guys, excited to, you know, incorporate them in our culture and, um, you know, each and every one of them. You know, have a role on our team, and you know it's up to us and the leadership, and up to them to kind of find that role and start fitting in it, so that we can connect even more. Front middle here, Zach. Zach Neal, Doug Swire. After spending an off season with Will Stein, what are some of the differences between him and Kenny Dillingham, and how's that relationship between you and him continued to grow? Uh, well, I think uh, you know, we, from the you know from the get go, from the time we got here, we have a great relationship. We've really done a good job, kind of from the um, you know, from the, uh, you know, bottom and just, you know, start at the relationship part and just try to get to know each other as, as humans. And then, you know, maybe I'll pick his brain from an offensive play caller's point of view. And, uh, you know, you can't expect him to be the same as Coach Gillingham. They're two different people. Um, but, you know, I'm excited to be around him. Uh, he provides a lot of good things. Um, he does a lot of uh, things that I'm comfortable with, and then he's going to provide some new things that he's going to teach me, and we're going to be able to run and incorporate. Um, so I'm excited about it. I think we got a lot of good talent coming back, um, anticipating um, you know great things for us on offense. <coughs> Left, Tyson. Bo, be because of your position, you've had to talk about this upcoming year a lot, whether it be from why you came back to coaches changing to new recruits to scheduling. What's it like actually like being in a place where you're going to practice this week and you can kind of put at least that kind of the build up to this behind you? Well, I'm excited to get rolling and get practicing again because, uh, you know, that's why we're all here. Just get us on the football field. And, um, you know, I feel like that's where we're going to make, you know, our biggest strides. And as a team, you know, we all kind of feel the same way. Uh, we've had a, um, you know, a long off season. We've anticipated a lot. And, um, you know, now that it's here, we get to finally go out there and just play some ball. And um, that's what I'm excited about, practicing every day, going out there and, you know, making throws again, running around, having a good time, um, moving the ball down the field, um, practicing with the guys, competing against the defense. Um, and, you know, fall camp's really a time uh, to where, you know, you you know it's right around the corner. So, you know, you got to get ready. Um, you got to prepare quickly. Um, but, you know, you got a little bit of time here to kind of, um, you know, iron out all the things that you need to get going and um, to where once you get to the season, you can do what you're comfortable with, do what you're good at, and, um, you know, let everybody just do their job and do what they're good at. Front middle, Eric. Eric Scuffle, 24-7. Uh, Dan just said the, the, the role of the backup is to make sure you can enter a game if he needs to and win. What's your role in making sure those backups are, are ready for that? And you know, what's your confidence level that be the case? Well, I think as a quarterback room, each and every one of us got to prepare like we're the starter. Um, I've always thought that. Um, and, you know, at the same time as we're preparing like we're the starter, we all got to compete like we're the backup or like we're the third or fourth string. You know, going in, I was actually thinking about this today, going in, I'm, it's a competition again. You know, it's a, um, uh, you know, every day is a competition, um, a healthy competition. You know, we're trying to get better ourselves, but help each other out as we go. Um, you know, Ty may see something that he teaches me. Um, I may see something that I teach Austin. And, uh, you know, it's just, we're all on the same team. We're all, you know, motivated to do the same thing. And that's for whatever we got to do to win games. And, you know, we talk about it all the time as a, um, as a group, you know, we got to embrace our purpose, embrace our roles as we are. And, uh, you know, whatever that may be, we're going to embrace them and, and grow. And, um, you know, I think it's a big, important thing for the quarterback room especially, is just to compete all the time. Uh, you know, if I can compete against myself, um, obviously using, you know, externally those guys, kind of compete against them, but, you know, internally compete against myself, I think that's the best thing that I can do at this point in my career. And, 
you know, as those guys continue to grow and develop themselves, they're still young, still got a lot of football ahead of them. Um, and, you know, it's exciting to watch those guys do it and exciting to be, you know, play a role in their lives. Back middle, Trevor. Well, when Coach Lanning talks about this idea of going from, from good to great, how do you plan on specifically applying that in your game and in your life on and off the field this season? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, first off, on the field, it's being, you know, that, um, you know, the steady leader that the offense needs. It's, um, you know, similar to what it was last year. You know, it was doing what I did last year, but at, at a higher, you know, even better scale um, and figuring that out as I go, you know, what areas can I, um, you know, go from where I was good and then where I was, you know, capable and that was like one of my strengths and where can I go to where my weaknesses aren't my weaknesses anymore, where can I go to where my strengths are now elite and they're at the top, you know, I think that as a, as a player and as an evaluator, as an individual, you got to look at yourself and kind of figure those things out um, and that's why you got practice and you got a whole camp to, to you know, really look those in the mirror and figure out what they are. And, um, you know, there's there's a lot of things to where, you know, I feel like we're, we're as a quarterback specifically right there, really close. Um, and now it's just do, using the camp, using practice to do those in practice so that you can turn around and do them in the game. And you, it's a feeling comfortable with it and knowing that you can do it and the guys knowing that you can do it um, and knowing that the guys are going to be there and all that kind of stuff. You know, it all plays a role, and I'm excited to, you know, go into it again, knowing those things and, you know, understanding it and having a, um, you know, an outlook and having a, a big picture goal in mind. On the left here, Alec, I believe. Uh, <clears throat> Alec, the Twitter's regard. Bo, a lot of new guys in the wide receiver room this year. Obviously, you were new last year. What, with that experience last year, kind of coming in and having to build up that chemistry quickly, what what did you kind of learn from that to do that this year with a lot of new guys in that room? Well, you know, last year, um, you know, being the new guy, it was, you know, a little bit more worried about yourself and just make sure you're doing the right thing, make sure the guys see you doing the right thing and see you working hard, seeing you do extra, but not only just seeing it, it's like you're, 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 um, that I'm willing to do it or that I want to do it. And then they see that and it kind of carries over. But, you know, now I, I can't change. I got to be the same person. Um, and just continue to work hard, harder and harder and, you know, have those guys follow. And then as those new guys get going, as they start to figure themselves out and start to figure out their role in the team, it's now, okay, how can I, you know, incorporate those guys um, into a bigger picture? And how can I get those guys um, on, a, on another level that they may – know that they can get to, they just kind of need help getting to. And, um, you know, it's tough with, when you got new guys, you got to kind of speed up the relationship process a little bit. You know, you only get, in our case, we'll have 365 days just within a year um, to get to know each other and to go out there and win football games together. Um, and it's doable, you know, a lot of teams, a lot of other players have done it in the past. Um, it's just figuring out those, um, those little things, you know, trust and, um, you know, transparency is a, a really important thing. Um, when they trust you, they'll do anything for you. And, you know, I feel like as a quarterback, and, um, you know, that's kind of my job is to build that trust, to build the chemistry so that when we go out there on a the field um, in a fourth quarter, when we're playing a tough opponent, we don't really have to worry about, you know, is this guy going to be there or can I count on this guy to give effort or all that kind of stuff. It's just kind of, you know, what I practice with this guy each day. Um, I know what he's like as a person. I know what drives him. And so I know what I'm going to get out of him. And that's huge, and that's how, honestly, going back, that's how you can go from good to great. You can go from, um, you know, that trust and that relationship level, and all of a sudden you're winning games in the fourth quarter, and uh, you're doing it in a, in a cool way because you're all kind of going in the same same direction. Middle right, Jared. Hey, Bo. Jared Mack, 24-7 Sports. You know, a lot of returning defenders over spring camp said that they saw marked improvement from year one to year two in Tosh Lupoy's defense. Just where did you see it from a quarter quarterback's perspective, and how do you think that they'll improve over the 2023 season? Well, I think, uh, you know, they definitely have, um, you know, added some new pieces. Um, you got new guys all over the field. It feels like a lot of really good talent. Um, a lot of guys playing at their strengths. A lot of guys where they're, um, you know, capable of making a lot of plays, and 
you know, as far as scheme goes, you know, they're always adapting, always finding ways to get better. And, uh, you know, he is an extremely hard worker, extremely good coach, has been around a lot. He's got a lot of, um, you know, experience at that role. Um, and then, you know, he's going to dial it up and, um, you know, do whatever they can to, you know, be the best defense they can be. And saw that in spring, um, you know, obviously with a new system, you got a lot of the guys that have been here a little bit more um, familiar with it, not having to relearn things. So you're having players on the field that can teach new guys um, some stuff, and it's not just the coaches that are teaching. So you have more teachers and you have more coaches out there, and, um, you know, that, that's a good thing. That's an important thing. Um, and, you know, same way on offense. Um, when you know what's going on, you can teach other guys. And, you know, I truly believe our second year in, a lot of guys that have been here last year kind of understand a little bit, you know, more of what the expectation is, what the standard is, and so we can implement that. And it's not just, you know, Coach Landing or the coaches kind of, you know, telling us, um, you know, how we should do things or the way we should do things. Now we understand the standard and can communicate that ourselves. And from a defensive standpoint, that's exactly what they've done. All right, Joe. Hey, Bo, Joe Framer with the Oregonian. Uh, when you look at, at Treshawn Holden, what have you seen you know, behind the scenes the last few weeks out of him, and, and how would you assess what he's going to bring to that position for you? Yeah, well, Treshawn's a very competitive guy, uh, very fiery. Um, you know, he takes ball very seriously. He plays with a lot of passion. Um, and, you know, just my time with him so far, been impressed with his, um, you know, his ability to go out there and, you know, compete and, um, you know, at a high level and always bring that drive, always bring that will to compete. Uh, because at the end of the day, that's a lot of playing receiver. You know, it's how bad do I want the ball? And he, he's a go-getter, he'll go get the ball. Uh, he runs really good routes, really good in one-on-one -on -one situations. Um, strong guy, dependable. He's played a lot of football himself, so excited to have him. All right, Bill. Hey, Bill, Bill Orem with the Oregonian. Um, if you could distill this down to one moment, what was your favorite memory from last season? Well, that was, there was a lot of them. Uh, my favorite moment from last year was probably, you know, as simple as it was, playing my first game in Austin and enjoying the atmosphere, enjoying the crowd, um, you know, throwing some touchdowns to guys that, you know, some of their first time, you know, being in, um, playing a key role in, in a game, you know, some of those younger guys. Um, and I just think about that game, how, how much fun it was. You know, the, I think the, the newness of it was um, what was, I think, the most fun about it. It's just like I'd never experienced it before, and I was doing it as a player. So um, I didn't even have the fan, um, you know, expectations or anything like that. So I just got the full effect as a player. But then you can go into the Washington State comeback, um, UCLA game, um, Utah, uh, North Carolina. I mean, there was a lot of fun moments. It was a, it was a fun year. Front middle, Zach. Going to this year with a, a new offensive line, obviously you had spring to and an off season to kind of gel and create relationships with them. But what are things that you're looking for over these next few weeks? What are the things that you can't know until you get into fall camp and until you get into the game situation with them? Well, at the end of the day, I don't think you, um, with new experience guys, you can't really tell exactly how they're going to mesh until you face another opponent. Um, got a lot of guys that have played a lot of snaps, um, but they've not necessarily played together. And I think that's what, you know, last year was so intriguing about the guys is they played so much together. So they knew calls, they knew, um, you know, little communication methods they had that was, um, you know, just from experience and from playing. So. Over the next few weeks, um, you know, throughout the season, we got to figure out those guys, uh, how they communicate, how they, um, you know, audible and how they con connect and, and um, communicate calls and how they talk. Um, you know, that's a, an important thing for an O-line. And uh, it's important to be familiar with each other. And, you know, I think as fall camp goes, they'll become more and more familiar. Time for two more. James, Ben Tyson. James Kreppi with the Oregonian. Bo, for all you've done in college, you have not had a thousand yard receiver since high school with Tez. What will be different about this season where at least one of your guys might be able to do it, whether it be Tez or Troy or Treshawn or Chris? Why will you have a thousand yard receiver this season and, and who do you think is 
most capable of, of breaking that for you? Well, I think they're all capable. Um, I don't think that's the the question. I think they're all capable. I think they're all um, you know ready for their opportunity. It's just going to come down to I think situational um, football situation and. Um, you know, which guy gets the, the targets and which guy gets the explosive plays and the yak. And, um, you know, like I said, they're all capable of doing that. Um, I didn't realize there hadn't been one, um, you know, especially in my time, because um, I feel like I've had some really talented guys. And um, I think it's just a tribute to, you know, spreading the ball around and moving it around. But at the same time, you know, each guy, especially this year, is going to have their own strengths. And so, it's going to be situationally, um, you know, who gets those opportunities, who makes the most out of them, and, you know, how can we get those guys the ball and make, you know, opportunities for them, um, get them open, throw them open, um, you know, call plays for them, and, um, you know, get get the ball to the hot hand, you know. Um, that's a basketball saying, but, you know, it plays a lot in football too, you know. I think some of those backs out of the backfield have a lot of um, completions too, and so I think it's just using everybody. and. Um, you know, one of them will probably do it. Last question, Tyson. With, far left. with you and Coach Lanning getting here more or less at the same time, what have you seen from him over the last 18 months that just his, his growth with the, the team, the program, or even this community that makes everyone seem so sure that he's the coach of the future here, talking of his contract extension? Well, I think he's extremely competitive and he wants to win. And, uh, you know, I think that's the most important thing. I think he just – um, he's going to do whatever he can, whatever he's willing to do to go win games. And I think he knows that's most important. And, um, you know, especially in the game now, um, you know, winning games is, is vital uh, to success of programs and um, recruiting and guys that you got on campus already. And, you know, I've just seen a, um, you know, I guess a determination to win, uh, you know, whatever necessary, whatever he's got to do um, to go out there and, and win football games. I'm kind of the same way. I'm very competitive, and so you know I appreciate that out of you know our head coach because um, at the end of the day that's what I want. So we're all moving in the same direction, doing whatever we can to win. Uh, you know I feel strong that we're going to get that done and we're going to win a, a lot of games. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. I appreciate it.